Welcome to another video for WinBid Pro version 16 by GDS Estimating. And in this one I'd like to go over the basics of adding entrances to your elevations. Um, so here we have what we call a punched opening. So it's basically just an opening with a door frame and a door leaf. And we actually have a button for that, so I'll show you that in a second. This is another button that we have that gives you a punched opening with a transom. So uh, the reason you have these is so you don't have to add like a frame, pick a framing system and then add the door frame and door leaf since really all the opening has is a door frame and door leaf to begin with. And then you've got your standard opening that has side lights, transom, door leaves, and a variety of things. So, so let's look and see. Let's start a new elevation here. And we're just going to call it test. And this is where we can see if it's a standard elevation, a punched entrance which has no transom, and then an entrance with a transom. So those are the three things I just showed you. And we can go ahead and save that. So in this case, I picked the standard one. Uh, and this is where you would go ahead and enter your overall width, overall height, Oh, and then we want to tell it how many panels we want. So let's say five. So in a standard elevation like this, we want to go in and pick an entrance or add an entrance to certain panels. Now, you can pick one panel to add an entrance to, or you can pick multiple panels. So when I click the Add button here, you'll notice how when I move the mouse around, I can pick different panels, or it highlights different panels. So I can also just enter a panel number down here, or I can even say I want my entrance to be in panels 2 through 4. So, not 40. So then it automatically kind of uh, turns all those green. So that's basically saying I want my entrance in three panels because I want the transom divided into three lights. Now if I wanted a transom with no divisions, just a, a one-piece transom glass, then I would just put my entrance in one panel. Um, but if you ever need to divide your transom, you have to think about how many panels it needs because that's what determines how the, the uh, transom is going to be divided. So now we've got options down here. We have add new configuration. So that means I can click this and select a door frame and then a door leaf. And I can even decide not to put a door leaf in. So that's probably the most common choice. And that's create new is what we'd be doing. So if I've already added entrances in this job and I want to pick one of the entrances that's already been added, I can actually go here and it tells you the name of the entrance, um, but also it tells you where it's from. And uh, there might have been an entrance that was added and then removed or, you know, it might show up still. But, um, but yeah, you can tell what elevation is using the entrance and just pick that one. Like let's say I want the 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 pair from the uh I forget what elevation it was, but yeah, the pair that was being used, I guess in that third elevation main entrance. So I'm basically using the exact same entrance, door frame, door leaves, and everything, but I'm putting it in the three panel opening that I selected in this new elevation. So that's obviously really easy. And if you've already made changes to that other entrance that I selected, like added additional hardware, changed some profiles, um, even put in uh, a mid-rail, things like that. All those changes would be carried into this elevation, so you don't have to make all those changes again. So now if I just want to delete that and start over, I can go back to the add, and I can say, let's say I want to go, and I'll use the mouse, I can click on panel 3 and then panel 4. So this time I only want to divide my transom into two lights. And so last time we said from job, now we can say from catalog. Now if I say from catalog, it's what it's going to show me is pre-configured entrances that have a door leaf and a door frame configured already. So in the Arcadia catalog, there's only a few generic ones. But you can always create your own by clicking the, clicking the plus sign. And that's where you basically select a door frame and then select a door leaf and make whatever changes you want and then you name it as a 
basically an entrance. And that's kind of what these names show right here. So that's an option. But then the, the third option was the create new. And this is where we're kind of giving it a standard name just so you know what it's you know, being used in, but uh, you can name it whatever you want. Um, let's say you want to match plans that show uh, a specific entrance code. You can change this description to that code. So now we're going to browse for a door frame. And this is where we use our filters. So I can say I want a pair and 72 inch pair, 84 inches high. It, it predicts what frame profile the elevation is using. So it tries to match that. Um, if I want offset pivot and overhead concealed closer, let's say. So now it gives me a list of all the things that match that. And depending on the manufacturer, their description might give you some more clues, but I'm just going to pick one for now. So I've selected my door frame. Now it's time to go to the door leaf. So it knows I did a pair 7284 offset pivot overhead concealed. So now I've got a few choices that are filtered down to that. And it looks like they're all narrow style. So I'm going to have to pick a narrow style. Now I've got my entrance door frame, door leaf uh, selected, and I've added it to the elevation. Now this is where I can go in and edit stuff. I could have done it back then too, but I can edit it here even after I've already added it to the elevation. So if I want to add, let's say, medium style door charge to uh, and change the profiles, I would edit the door frame or the door leaf, and I would go in here. This is where your basic... Uh, I don't know, default profile, glass bite. If you're actually going to get exact glass sizes out of your door leaves, you want to make sure you have all kinds of things configured, like your, your deducts for the width and height, threshold allowance. All those things should be entered precisely for an accurate door glass size. But uh, otherwise, it's going to give you kind of a rough size for pricing. But... Uh, this is also where things like if it has a mid rail, if it's showroom doors, which would mean uh, the unequal leafs left and right, and you can specify the, the widths of the leafs that way. So th the other pr pr part of this window is the components. And this is where you'd probably add something like if there's a charge for medium style and it's per leaf, then you would add the part number to the per leaf section. If it's per entrance, then you would add it to here. Like if there's a pair, medium style pair um, upcharge part number, you would add it to the per entrance. But if it's a per door leaf charge, you would add it here. Um, if we wanted to change, let's say we're doing that, then we do want to change our rail sizes. So let's just make it four inches to make it easy. But I can change all my rail sizes here. And you'll notice there's no stock length part numbers because it's a package. So any package parts are kind of in these two places. And then if you are fabricating your own door, let's say, you would put in the uh, stock length part numbers in the, in the different uh, component uh, little sections. So, But for profiles and how it's drawn, this is where you'd go. The 10 inch bottom rail, the 4 inch styles, and then we can save it. And you'll notice all that changes on the drawing. So that's kind of basically how you add and how you modify, uh, you know, door leaves specifically. Let's edit a door frame, just to show you what that's like. And in this, we can actually specify transom glass bites and transom stops. So if all I have is a horizontal transom stop, it's specified here. I can have stops all around or just on the sides. So this is where that would happen. If I need to add a new stop for say side vertical stops, I can say add new. And what that's going to do is get me into a screen that uh, lets me name the components. So, so I'm going to call it a vert transom stop. I'm going to say it's a half inch and then I can add a part number and I can browse for that part number and then I can just say stop. And uh, let's just pick any old stop part. But this basically it's a stock length part and it's going to optimize it based on you know how big the transom is and all that. 
But if I do that, and then now I have to kind of select the one I've added. So if this has vertical transom stops, then I'm selecting that those need to be on the left and the right. And it's already got a horizontal stop at the bottom. So that's obviously changing my daylight opening. And you'll notice those stops are colored yellow. So we know that that's where they're being used. So in a nutshell, that's how you can edit your door frame, change things like out of daylight and transom stops to give you accurate uh, transom glass sizes. Uh, and obviously the size of the opening can be modified to whatever custom size it needs for both the door frame and the door leaf just by editing those things. So that's pretty much a rundown of, of entrances in uh, version 16. Thank you.